Well, hello there, friends, family, fans, and finish line focused, fantastically fine folks. Uh, today is Wednesday, July 12th, and I am packed up and headed out, and it is quarter till seven this morning, so we got going about a half hour early to buy us a little more time in town today so we can do chores and odds and ends and hopefully get a good night's a good afternoon evening and night's rest uh, today as we take what we call a Nero we're hiking 10 miles in some people say that's too far for a Nero but that's more like a short day but not to elite AT through hikers like her dog and I to us that's just a Nero <laughs> Nah, it's just, just how it worked out. So, anyway, we're gonna do 10 miles and head in, uh, head into town. I, the plan, I believe, is to meet some viewers, Jay and Tanya. And uh, well, I don't think I missed the trail, but let me just show you the trail this morning. This is what we're walking on. And if you can't tell, right here in front of me. There's a lot of rocks that are like half buried, and you can't hardly see them. Those are the tricky little guys that inflict lots of pain. Uh, lots of pain. See, even, I mean, there's just lots of little half buried rocks. And you step on those or stub your toe. Oh boy. I stubbed my toe yesterday on one. Uh, hardest of the whole trail for sure. Man, it hurt. Oh. It was bad. Sometimes I kick a rock so hard I actually uh, kind of float in the air for a minute. <laughs> oh, my pack gets all jostled around or used to. This z pack fits, fits different, fits better, uh, fits more snug, and it's amazing. So far, I love the hip belt. Man, it wraps around my hips and grabs a hold. It's got two adjustment points, so you can kind of set the top one and then the bottom, and it, like angles a little bit like your hips do and woo man it's good uh anyway so yeah the plan is to meet uh, jay and tanya and at the trailhead and then go i guess get some lunch we're gonna see if they'll drop us off at the outfitter and uh because we both her dog and i need to go i've got a little issue with my poles um the bottom sections just like comes off it doesn't like thread in i don't know what's up with that so i'm just going to ask them and and see why it's it's getting looser now i got i get it stuck in rocks multiple times every day and then i go to lift up and sometimes it'll pull right off so i don't know what's up with that but anyway uh cur dog needs some new socks his socks are wearing out and so anyway we need to go there and then we're hoping to go to like the next town over, Pot, Pottersville or something, and uh, get a room at maybe at the Days Inn. This hotel that's kind of by the trail has really bad ratings, and uh, it's not not very good, supposedly. So that's kind of the plan. I need to go to Walmart and get a couple things. I'm low on toilet paper, ibuprofen. Oh, I got to go to the post office. Yeah, I forgot. Halo's got a couple packages for me. Let me show you the trail again. This is why, like before lunch and at the end of the day, I was just done with the rocks. Because you walk on this for eight hours or whatever, it gets old. Your foot, although these are like a little flatter than, than most, my feet aren't getting twisted as much. Um... But, you know, you can see why it would be tiring walking on this hour upon hour. But that's why every bit of weight, I mean, even your own body, every bit of weight matters. Because it's how much, how hard you hit these rocks. So, body fat, body mass, it's not a joke. You know, try to lose weight and get healthy before you come out here. Uh, you will lose weight on the trail, absolutely. But, the better you can do beforehand, uh, you know, the better and the easier it's going to be on your body anyway and then pack weight too is just huge so 
Yep, just some thoughts. All right. Um, body feels surprisingly well this morning. My chafing is radically better. I expect it to get worse again because my, my skivvies and my shorts are just, it's as, as though you pulled them out of a bucket of water and, and rang them out. That's how wet they are in my t-shirt too. So I expect some, maybe a little bit of chafing today. I hope not. But I put gold bond on last night and put gold bond on this morning. And we are, we are marching forward. Everything feels, feels pretty good. I'm wearing a clean pair of socks, which will really help my morale. Having wet socks and feet does not help uh, anything, typically. It doesn't help me, you know, mentally. So I got my, I bring three pairs of socks now. And I've, I'm wearing my third pair, the Njinji's. And uh, I also have my factory insoles in, uh, in my shoes. By the way, my shoes are getting worn out, uh, very much worn out. And they don't even have 300 miles on them yet. But they are 300 just crazy miles, you know, on these lots and lots of rocks. So, here, I'll hold the camera out. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'll be needing a new pair of shoes pretty soon. Sooner rather than later, I'm going to try and go maybe another 100 miles, but I'm not going to push it. If I can just get through the rocks, I'll get a new pair, and then maybe the, the new ones will last a little longer because they won't take quite such a beating. So, All right, let me stop the video so I can hopefully keep the segments shorter and they upload faster. All right, guys, let's go hike. Ouch. Hit myself in the eye with my trekking pole. <laughs> All right, let's go hike the Appalachian Trail together. Let's do it. Put on your shoes and get up. Let's go. All right, been, I didn't pull the camera out earlier, but been going up something called Wolf Rocks. And there's a bypass trail around Wolf Rocks, which tells you that it's legit. Um, and, you know, not to do it during bad weather or whatever. Um, today is not uh, bad weather. Huh, I don't know where to go. This is actually one of the like toughest spots, but so far Wolf Rocks has been very well blazed and and pretty easy for sure. Like not, not a big deal. In fact, I'm very happy for the blazes. Um, you'd almost take the exact trail anyway without any blazes. So that's my kind of trail when it's pretty logical. Uh, where it goes. Anyway, I thought I'd show you Wolf, Wolf Rocks for a minute and let you see it's been kind of like this all along. You're just sort of on these these big, um, flat, smooth smooth rocks and walking along a um, almost like a big sidewalk. It's angled and broken a little bit, but it's still a, like a sidewalk. So let me step up here and show you the view. Ah, oh, the breeze. Thank you. Hopefully dry my clothes out a little bit. All right, back at it. <laughs> uh, heading for a shelter. Coming up, uh, get us some water. I've got oh, over half of a liter still, and I probably drank about a half a liter this morning. So, I mean, I'm in good shape. I'm fine, but uh, looking forward to chug-a-lugging uh, some water up ahead, so, yep. All right, let me put the phone away so I can use two hands and hopefully not fall and break my crown. No Humpty Dumpty today. You guys can make the blowing up sound. So I love woods like this. You may not get good views or many views in Pennsylvania. But I like walking through forest like this. I definitely love me some trail like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, these open woods with the ferns and everything. This is gorgeous. So not a view of epic proportions, but a beautiful view nonetheless. So I just thought I'd show you and let you walk along with me for a minute. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't tell you. So this morning I went straight back into the woods behind my tent for my morning bathroom ritual. And I was back there and I heard crunching coming along from kind of behind and beside me. And I knew it wasn't another hiker because I was back in the woods a ways. And so I was very quiet and a big deer uh, walked through, not nah, 20 yards from me, but then he angled right up through and went just right right next to my tent. I mean, he he wasn't more than uh, probably ten, less than 10 yards from the front door, open door of my tent. So that was pretty neat. It was a big, big body deer. I couldn't see the, uh, the antlers very well. There was a lot of brush. I couldn't tell how big his rack was, but anyway, nice, nice body size. And that was pretty fun. First deer I've seen in Pennsylvania. I think I told you about it, guy. Lucky seeing the big bear yesterday. Uh, or no, it was two nights ago. He saw him at night. We saw Lucky yesterday morning, and he showed me the video. I think I told you about it, but if not, big bear walked alongside, kind of parallel, turned, and then crossed the trail right in front of a guy named Lucky. And he got amazing video of this big old boar uh, bear and the bear knew he was there but didn't care he didn't run and he certainly wasn't like you know interested or aggressive it was as though he wasn't lucky wasn't even there but he got to see the bear stand up and scratch his back on a tree uh, it was so cool uh, I didn't get that on video but anyway super neat and I talked to people in Wind Gap and they said oh they've had times where lots of bears came into town uh, to get the garbage and they had to have like DNR come out and uh, tranquilize a bunch and, and move them off somewhere else. I don't know what all happened to those bears. But anyway, evidently there's a lot of bear in the area. And then they say New Jersey is a great chance of seeing bears. And we are almost to New Jersey. We're less than 10 miles now, probably 7 miles from, uh, 8 miles from New Jersey. So pretty cool. I'm hoping maybe I can have a close encounter of the bear kind. All right, here is a pretty crazy view looking out over Pennsylvania and possibly New Jersey. I don't know if you can see New Jersey over there or not, but either way, very pretty view. Real nice big bald spot here right after the shelter, huh? Like a half mile yep. probably. And here's Trisha and Ellis camping over, camping over here. I stopped in the woods to wait for Curd Dog to bring me some water that I forgot. And walked past and Ellis says hey disciples so yeah all right guys we'll see y'all soon all right you look very majestic standing there cur dog looking out over the valley I guess the trail goes down Ugh. all right boy little steps are kind of weird I'm gonna get off of them <laughs> Hard to walk on. All right, there's your last view of that view. Yay, look at this spot where the rhododendron is in bloom. Haven't seen blooming blooming flowers in so long. I didn't know there would even be any more. But that was great. So, so pretty and smells, smells nice. I came across some rocks back there like exposed rocks and the sun was intense but then I turned the corner walk into this little rhododendron patch and it's like air conditioning uh, right here man is it so much cooler so what a great great spot I'm certainly thankful for that all right hiked down the mountain today got into Delaware Water Gap and we met Jay and Tanya our trail angels they took us to the post office, took us to the outfitter, and now we are at uh, this place, the grill. Darn it, I forgot the name of it. Too many names. I'll get it inside uh, here in a second. What's the name of the grill? Sycamore Grill. Sycamore Grill. Do you guys mind being on camera? Okay. Here's our trail angels. Yay! Why don't you guys, I just said your names, but why don't you go ahead and say your names real quick. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Tanya Childs, my husband Jay Childs. We are from Griffin, Georgia. Very nice. Well, thank you guys for picking us up, and we're excited to be in air conditioning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. All right, guys. It is uh, Wednesday evening, and I am in my hotel room here at the Days Inn, East Stroudsdaleburgville. 
not far from Delaware Water Gap. Uh, you can see my gear scattered all over. Stuff is drying back there. Quilt draped on the TV. I never even turn the TVs on uh, when I get to my rooms. And back there is my puffy jacket, my rain jacket, drying out, making sure they're nice and aired out. My new backpack, you have to air it out too because if it gets many moisture in there, it traps it because it's waterproof. So got to that's a learning curve, something i got to think about. Uh, yep, that's open. Uh, anyway, got my shoes that dried out in the sun a little bit, and it is supper time. So I didn't feel like walking to a restaurant, so I looked in the book here in the room and ordered a pizza. And wow, that is a huge, massive pizza. It was fairly expensive. I was kind of surprised how expensive it was. Now I see why. That's not your normal pizza. That's the smallest one they had. It was medium or large. I got a medium. And wow. Anyway, I am going to dig in and not, not film anymore. Uh, I'll maybe come back later and wrap up some more of today. So we'll see.